In this episode of the Zach and Jay Show, we head all the way to Norway to compete in one of the most dangerous sports in the world, death diving. Make sure you watch to the end with this one, as it's safe to say it stings a little. Desperately <laughs> in over my head. In the first year of our channel, we were asked to do a TV show that would take us around Europe doing some pretty mental challenges. We got punched by Chris Eubank Jr. We broke onto the track at the Olympic Stadium and we got shouted at by Jimmy Carr. Me. I will not f you. Now we've seen our fair share of strange traditions, tar barrel rolling, Shrovetide football, gurning competitions and bog snorkeling. But we've never seen anything quite as dangerous as death diving, even if the name kind of gives it away. Death diving, or dudzing as they call it in Norway, is the art of diving off an Olympic level diving board and doing the most impressive belly flop you possibly can in the least painful way possible. It's an event of national pride for Norwegians and what these guys do is highly impressive. Think Tom Daly with no Olympic funding and a fetish for spanking his own chest, if you can. This man, Speedos McGee, is a prime example. No regard for future generations, fully committed, clap, clap, and slap. So, desperately unaware of how deep of a deep end we had just jumped into, we headed to the promised land of Vikings and funny surnames for a trip we will never forget. The Zach. Last time we released a video from our TV series on YouTube, a lot of you guys from other parts of the world couldn't access it because Channel 4 was basically blocking you guys from entering the UK website. Well, I've got some good news for you people because this episode is sponsored by Surfshark! Ta da! <laughs> Luckily for you, that means that if you're watching in another country, you can hop on the Surfshark app, you can select the UK, and you can watch all the shows that are on E4. Congratulations, you have just unlocked Maya Jammer. More good news, it also works with Netflix. So if you've rinsed Netflix like I have, you can just simply switch up the country and just travel over there and see what they got going on. Maybe take a little trip to Canada and unlock way more Marvel movies. Now we're talking. Are you crying because they stole Walking Dead from you? Well, cry no more. Just head on over to America and boom, you've got it. Need I say more? Like we mentioned in our house tour videos, these brand collaborations are super essential to help us make videos. So big up Surfshark. So if you want to support the companies that support us and then you also support us, then head on over to surfshark.deals forward slash Zach and Jay. And if you enter our code Zach and Jay at checkout, we're gonna give you a whopping 83% off. You're bloody welcome. Also, we're gonna chuck in three months free. How about that? What a deal. Anyway, enjoy our pain. Just take a, take a moment to sit in the fact that we're going to Norway to jump off a big thing. Yeah, a big thing. Is that all you've got? <laughs> we're about to jump 30 feet off. I can only describe as a diving board with no experience apart from this fellow who's going to teach us tomorrow. He could be anyone for all we know, mate. He could be literally Bob off the street in Norway. Probably more likely to be called something like Yurik. <laughs> do you want to do it? I do not want to do this. Made it to Norway. Jamie looks like he should have a Man United tattoo on the Pint back of his hand. on the back of his car. Pint a, in my hand. a pint in his hand and a British Bulldog tattoo there. Any, any words as we approach internal bleeding? I don't like the sound of that. Do you know what I read? What? That at a certain height, if you go into the water wrong, where your ass cheeks are slightly open, water can penetrate your ass. Man, I'm not losing my anal opportunity to some Nordic water. This is gorgeous. This is why I did not mind going to Norway. However, knowing our bodies are going to hit it at a stupidly fast pace is not gorgeous. Oh, that's a jellyfish. That is a jellyfish. That is a jellyfish. For sake, this is not good. So we're here, that behind me, no, it's not a 10 story building. It's the thing I'll be diving off tomorrow. With Zach, the water looks nice, it looks calm, but if you get close, it's got jellyfish. Oh, that sounds painful. Let's see if he's alive. All right, mate. This mate's laughing, this is normal. It was time to meet our deaf diving teachers. The only people between death diving glory and embarrassing ourselves in front of 3,000 beautiful golden haired drunk Vikings would be taught by a couple of legends of the game who, rumour had it, death dived out of the womb. 
Hello guys, welcome, welcome to Lillas on Norway. Welcome. Hey. Hello. I'm James. Yeah. Tobias. Zach. Tobias. Nice to meet you. Nice Zach. to meet you. Chris. Nice to meet you. So we are going to um, take you three some uh, practicing to start uh, learning the death diving. Right. Uh, that sounds like a good idea. So I'm worried about the landing part. Right. So if you learn the landing uh, right, it's not supposed to hurt that bad. So and, <laughs> and what are you trying to do? Just, just land? Because gravity will make you land. What, what yeah, the whole doing? point is like jump from 10 meters. Yeah. It looks like you're gonna land on the stump, on your stomach. Uh, then you just tuck together, tuck together, and everything's good. Okay. Is there anything we need to know in terms of like, what is the worst that can happen if we do get it wrong? The, the worst thing is probably landing on your side or back or something. Yeah. yeah. So you're gonna have to try to not to turn around. The so. worst part, if you land on your stomach, you can hurt your. Inner body, like vital internal organs, yeah. internal yeah. organs, chin bones and stuff. Chin bones, yeah. Right. yeah, we need them as and well. Yeah. Your <laughs> yeah. ribs, ribs, yeah. And yeah. There was a guy in the winter edition of this festival that uh, took a double front flip, yeah. and he landed like this on the water, and he broke three places on his in his face. Uh, everyone, and, uh, everyone yeah. thought it was the, his knee who hit his face, <laughs> but it was just the water because uh, it's so hard. Yeah. yeah. So what could go wrong? Landing on your neck damaging your internal organs, breaking your face in three places. Clearly it was time to meet the water. So starting on the dock, these Nords made it look easy. We launched ourselves off the docks with all the grace of level four Magikarps. The spirit of competition was truly boiling over between Jay and I, and we were taking out our frustrations on each other. But there was no ignoring it. The five meter board was our next challenge. With more flying Nords arriving by the second, the pressure was huge. At this point, the sheer lack of skill on our part meant despite wanting to do it properly, we literally didn't have the skills to do it. How are we feeling, mate? Okay, okay. Pardon? How are you feeling? It's a lot higher when you're up here. Like, I was flapping in the air like, like bashed my arm, got like a little mark on the forearm already. I don't feel confident doing it at this height and it's already, it feels f***ing high. Yeah, whose idea was this, mate? It is whose probably the worst idea I've ever had. And with three inches being between a great jump and a broken jaw, we realized the competition board was over double the height of the one we were practicing on. It was time to see what we had to tackle tomorrow. Yeah, you'll be all right deaf diving this height. No, I won't be. I, I, it's not a matter of will I do this. I don't know if I, my body will let me do this. I'm going to get uh, scores of two, two, two. Give us a line, like, we've been off for five feet. We don't have to do anything we don't want to do, Dan. <laughs> Don't f***ing tell me what to do! I feel like crying. Desperately <laughs> get over my head. Oh, f it's safe to say the locals were fearless. Then Viking blood flowed hot through their diving bodies without a thought, while our Anglo-Saxon brains kept us securely on the ground. We had less than 24 hours before we were meant to represent our country and the Zack and Jay show on a global stage. All we could really do was practice, I guess. Look at that majestic leap. We were getting the hang of this death diving thing. We were gonna carve our name into the history books. We were confident. Maybe we had a shot. Maybe we could cause an upset to this ancient 40 year old competition. As the day was drawing to a close, our trainers had left us to go start drinking with their mate. Our confidence was growing. That was of course until this. Could jellyfish f off? Lipples are still sore. <laughs> Ow! 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 That was painful! Oh, he's swimming, can't get out! Oh, this is well fun! He's actually really Day of the competition, Norway. How are we feeling? Acceptably sh**. Um, Back of my neck hurts. 
My nipples are very sensitive. I, yeah, you had a convo with the medic. How did that go? They think I'm concussed or was concussed yesterday. Why? How did? Why? What was up with you? Well, in that last jump, something went wrong because I went. Eh! Yeah. And then I start panicking and I landed on this side of my face. It did look really painful. I think it may have been the noise that you made. I'd not heard that <laughs> one before. Yeah. Worth mentioning too at this point, uh, I was actually bleeding from my ear after that. It wasn't nice to put on TV, so we didn't. But uh, this was what got pulled out of my ear that evening. I'm no doctor, but that is not good. They advised that I shouldn't compete today. Advised. Means... I mean, if I asked my mum, should I compete today? She'd probably advise me not to as well. So where does that <laughs> leave you, mate? Because the way I see it, he's got a little bit of a headache and now he's all concussed. I want to be concussed. You got any for me? <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad. So are you doing it? I don't think I'm allowed. I'm not allowed, am I? They won't let me. I will be up there with you, though. Well, I don't want you to be up there with me. <laughs> I want you to be down there. Constantly. Do you actually? Do you want, as a friend, do you want to see yeah. a repeat of tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I want to see I a am concussed. Do you want to see a repeat of yesterday? Yeah, I want to see a repeat of next week. Oh, I'm concussed too. Ah. So, so do you think you're gonna do it? You know, I, was, I woke up more than once last night, visualizing the jump, and I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. Jay. Yeah. Got something that's going to make you feel a little bit better, mate. Oh, yeah, what have you got? What could possibly make me feel better? Have you got some sort of parachute for when I leap off this building? Gotta feel sick. What are they? <laughs> the f no, mate. <laughs> too small. This won't be allowed on TV. I'm doing this. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just the little bitch boys can cost. I could throw around all the insults that I had, but the fact remained that the competition was here. 3,000 Norwegians, all on their boats, had turned up to see whether I would sink or swim. This competition had gone international and I was competing for glory, baby. I would be entering the classic event in which you have to fly horizontally and flat until the last millisecond when you have to ball up and hit the water. Competitors get judged on their takeoff, air control, airtime, and landing. You gotta make a big splash, you gotta land on your front, and you gotta, well, not die. So there was nothing more to say. All 11.5 meters were waiting for me. And with this being the first time that I've conquered this height, let's not forget that it is higher than an Olympic diving board. All we knew was that I stuck out like a sore thumb at this Viking party, but my God, did I look great. Luckily for me, Thor had lent me a spare pair of shorts to protect future raw thorns. Jay's putting his life on the line here, so if you are enjoying the content, please subscribe. We're aiming to hit a million subscribers by June, so help us out, yeah? Thank you! It was time to make the climb. Word had spread about this strangely sexy Mancunian about to leap, and the fans were flocking. A major upset was in the works with 3,000 sexy Nords and frankly a demanding TV show. There was no turning back. One after another, these crazy bastards jumped. There's nothing that prepares you for the 11 meter high structure swaying in the wind. My heart was beating like never before. You could feel my heart beating right now. If I was going down, I was going down putting on a show. And with a few injuries already on the cards with proper competitors, I was shitting myself. If I was going to go down, I was going to go down putting on a show. But you know what we say? Why wait to live? Why wait to throw myself off at 11 meter high Woo! structure into jellyfish infested Woo! waters? First time on the 10 meter tower. Please welcome Jay. And with zero confidence in my own ability, I turned to the crowd to fill me with confidence. There was no way I could back down now. I swore at the water in hopes it wouldn't punish me back. And with one final deep breath, it was time. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No. This was a momentous moment for Great Britain. After all, I was never going to take home the win, but the fact I got up there was a win in itself.
The cheers from the crowd filled my ears as I swam to the edge like a puppy that was excited to be alive. Thank you for saving my life, yes! I'm alive! I'm alive! We go again! Did I? How did I land just on my feet like that? Bit that, <laughs> innit? Ah, oh, no! There is a worse one, wasn't it? Oh well. I'm cool, Kick back in a boy. Man, I come a long way since cool. Soared through the air like a Norwegian eagle. Cuckoo! <laughs> Cuckoo! <laughs>